Hey, hey, what's good, everyone? It's your boy Tom Bomb coming at you live once again. And uh, today I want to talk about my testimony of how I came to the Lord. As I came to the, came to the Lord uh, five months ago in February. But I was never an atheist, though, as I always believed in God, as I've been taught about God when I was three years old. And while living through life, I just always believed there has to be a a God that created all, this whole universe, you know? That's why I, I never understood why uh, there were atheists in the world trying to prove that God don't exist. When, my, when to me it's like, you know, God ha God has to exist because we were created somehow. And I guess over the years, uh, God was slowly growing in me as I keep learning and uh, and growing. To do good and uh, to keep being a better person each time. As over the years, I've slowly been redeemed to come to God. Because when I was a teenager, uh, living life throughout high school, I was into like bad things and stuff like that. But but it is a blessing from God to keep growing. Because like the more truth that you uh, search for and learn about, the more you get to know about God and be closer to God. But even though I was going to church and uh, Bible study last year and uh, was listening to some gospel rap music that my friend uh, got me into, I still wasn't living as a godly man like I am today. Yeah. But here's how I finally uh, came to the kingdom in February five months ago. This one uh, video was uh, recommended on my YouTube page and uh, the video title was Shocking Message from God. I felt like I had to check it out. As I feel uh, God wanted me to watch it, to wake up. And when I watched the video of Shocking Message from God, the fact really scared me of going to hell, and I feel like I was going to hell with how I was still living. And after that, I felt like I would do anything not to go there. And it was good that that, that video led to other videos uh, to wake me up. As I started to turn away from sin, I got a renewed better mind uh, for Jesus. And I'm glad to learn from uh, all you different uh, preachers and leaders out there to help me with my walk with God and Christ. And I'm glad to receive the truth uh, through y'all, or some of y'all, that's what I meant. And just because you listen to a good leader a lot, it does not mean uh, you've been brainwashed that uh, the leaders become your idol when uh, good leaders help you worship Christ. You know what I mean? When I found out that uh, idolatry is a sin uh, when coming into the kingdom, it made me regret ever idolizing or worshiping anyone in the first place as I used to worship like rappers and other things uh, before I came in the kingdom but since coming to God like it's a better look to not worship anybody but him but at least I never worship Satan as I don't get why some people do that even before I came to the kingdom, like I didn't get why some people glorify the devil. I tell you, I read this uh, one scripture in the Bible where uh, it was mentioning that uh, blaspheming the Holy Spirit is the only unforgivable sin. Like the fact scared me. I was like, oh, I hope I never did the sin. It's like in the book of Matthew or Luke or Mark somewhere. I forget, but I remember reading like those parts. Yeah, because basically, like, once you blaspheme the Holy Spirit, it's like you're you're done. You'll be going to hell no matter what, and, like, God can re and God will reject your repentance. It would suck to be in that situation. Like Esau, man. Like, when God rejected Esau's repentance. As, like, God hated him when Esau traded his birthright for a frickin' meal. And I was mentioning blaspheming the Holy Spirit to a uh, friend's mother there. I was telling her about that. And uh, she wasn't even agreeing with me as she was uh, telling me, no, uh, God will forgive you as long as uh, he knows that you're sorry. Well, that's not what, uh, in the, that's not what some of the scriptures say. It, some of the scriptures say blaspheming the Holy Spirit is only an unforgivable sin. Like if it's in the Bible, like you have, you have to go with it and accept it. And has this woman like been in the faith most of her life? And, and I just got into the faith and when I read like, that scripture of blaspheming the Holy Spirit, it really scared me, and uh, I'm surprised she wasn't agreeing with me when it's in the scriptures. 
like when you read the Bible, you have to acknowledge what's in the Word, man. And I feel a lot of Christians out there are, are not acknowledging everything that's in the Bible. But anyway, you guys have a good day, and uh, I'm about to shut this video down, so um, have a good one. So peace out.